I'm Katie Brenzel. I'm Georgia Cromroy. And we're in the TRD newsroom talking about the rent regulation debate. So, Katie, we just got back from Albany. It was a pretty crazy two days. Um, there were protests on Tuesday in front of the assembly chambers, the senate chambers, the governor's office. Um, tenant groups were really cranking up their pressure on lawmakers to move on the nine rent regulation bills that have yet to really progress beyond being proposed. We were actually on the scene when uh, the protests outside the assembly chamber took place. We were trapped between the protesters blocking the stairway that's the entrance to the assembly chamber. So we saw firsthand people getting arrested and protesters chanting, specifically calling out Carl Hasty, specifically chanting, vote them out, when the sergeant at arms let lobbyists through the protesting tenants. Mm -hmm. And we also saw the sergeant at arms actually um, climb over some protesters to get out of the crowd. He had sort of uh, worked his way into the crowd and then climbed over to women and was lifted up by um, an assembly security official um, to get out of the crowd. And it was just a kind of crazy moment. As the protests were winding down, Andrew Stewart Cousins released a statement saying that the Senate had enough support to pass the nine bills. Um, which protesters were ecstatic about at the time. They were tweeting about it. it seemed like this was a this eager was good to, to go. declare victory. Right, right. But the next day, Cuomo released a statement calling her bluff, asking the Senate to pass the nine bills and saying that he would sign them if, if, it, if it came to his desk, mm -hmm. leading to a brief and vague statement from uh, the Assembly and the Senate that uh, they support the nine bills. Mm -hmm. And no action has been taken at this point, so it all seems like it's really still up in the air. Um, people we've talked to have said that it's still very, all these measures are still very much in play. Nothing's a done deal, despite this sort of back and forth between Cuomo and the two houses, right? And Albany insiders say that the high-level negotiations have really only just begun, which signals that it's going to be a very interesting end of session. Mm -hmm. As the deadline draws closer, uh, it's seeming more likely that the bills will be rolled up into the Big Ugly, which is an omnibus bill, which would mean that Cuomo would have a seat at the table in the negotiations and would be able to pit different interest groups against each other to make concessions. So we'll be watching developments closely as the rest of the session unfolds. Thanks for watching.